So can I ask a question, sir? Yes, yes, Babaji. So in this in this particular example, hmm. the Rahu is actually having a ninth aspect to the fifth house, right? Hmm. Hmm. Now generally we consider Rahu as a malefic, hmm. right? Hmm. But in this case, Rahu is actually sitting in a in a you know a ninth ninth house, which is considered a good house. Hmm. So the Rahu's aspect is malefic or benefic in this particular chart? In this in this in this case, see. There are two things also. Okay, so Rahu through Rahu, this fifth house is also connecting with the ninth house. Correct. Okay. So it means it will promote that event. First point. Okay. In but parallelly, due to Rahu's influence, this person may face problems during pregnancy or both. Okay, because Rahu will not leave its basic nature. Okay. Rahu is malefic, so it will create trouble. That's true. But also, this Rahu is connecting the energy of ninth house to the fifth house. Okay. So in children part, in children prediction, ninth house is more important. Okay, fifth and ninth both will play very crucial. So when we are looking at when we are looking at aspect, right? Mm -hmm. so whichever is planet is aspecting a particular house. Hmm. That the, the the nature of the planet as well as the uh, the house energy is actually yes. transmitted into where it is. Yes. This is our whole concept. Okay, so after two three class now you will realize like whenever I say an exchange of energy, so that exchange of energy is what this is same thing. Exchange of energy means see the whole concept of timing of event is. To understand the relationship between planets and houses. Okay, got it. Okay, so in this case, fifth and ninth both are connected. Okay, it means that both energies are merging. Okay. So the good energy from the ninth house is actually going towards the fifth yes. house. Yes. At the same time, Rahu's malefic nature also goes. Yeah. Down. See, Rahu's malefic nature, Mars is aspecting the cesarean. Okay, Mars is a karaka of surgery. Are you getting my point? So it will show cesarean things, Rahu will show trouble and all these things, but children, the child, childbirth is for sure. Okay. Now that we are now that so like this. Yeah, I understood. So a follow-up question on this one. Since we are we are talking about children, if somebody asks in this particular chat, you know, this girl guy gonna have to one children or two or three or multiple children, how do we look at that? Yeah, that that uh, we will discuss. Okay, when okay. that uh, time arrives. Okay, but not now. All right, good. Okay. Thank you. So this is a part. Uh, so we have many questions. Okay, but uh, I will not take all questions. So let's invite Saraswati. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. This uh, Saturn is a lot of fifth house. Hmm. Uh, posted in second house uh, yeah. with uh, malefic of Mars yeah. is a lot of three and eight. Yeah. Uh, Saturn Saturn position is exalted. At the same time, retrograde, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, this mal uh, conjunction and retrograde. How to uh, understand, sir? See for uh, for this timing of event purpose. Okay, sir. Just consider retrograde as a more powerful planet. Okay. Okay. If any planet is showing, suppose any event, and the planet is retrograde, okay. so it will become a more prominent for that particular event. Okay. If it is negative, 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 negative means more negative. Okay. okay. Just double the energy. Okay. Like a thing like this for now. Okay. okay. Yes. Because when you when you test these principles on practical chart, then you will understand. Okay. okay. In books, there are many theories. Retrograde means is retrograde means that, but when you test on charts, when you try to predict an event on the time basis, then you will realize that that plan is working or not. Like sometimes we say retrograde means Saturn must fall in the lagni, mm. previous house. Yes. Okay, so let's say if Saturn is in previous house, and we are analyzing the event of childbirth. If Saturn is not anyway connected with that house. And that event will not take place. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes. So, like this, you will understand by, by, by time. Okay, but for now, just uh, uh, keep it like set retrograde means 
double found. Okay. That planet will become more prominent for that particular event. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Understand this. Yes, Himanshu. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, just a quick thing because in uh, one of the last sessions you mentioned that if a planet is in a trine with one of its sign, it will, um, it will, it will be more. It will be. Um, you said that it will be decided on the basis of the malefic and functional. Malefic and benefic will be decided on the basis of the trine factor. Mm -hmm. So, right now, if you look at the sixth house, uh, Aquarius sign. The Saturn in seventh house is in trine with, uh, with this Aquarius sign, this uh, sixth house. So, wouldn't it be more malefic in nature in this in this No, no. no. You see, uh, that that's what I am uh, uh, saying. Na, like Saturn, you have to give more preference for the Tricona. Okay, so here Tricona okay. sign is falling in. Capricorn, that is again Saturn. Okay, mm -hmm. so Saturn will favor more Capricorn. Okay, so if Not if it is in Tricorn, then it gets a preference over above. Yes, yes. Okay. First preference always Tricorn. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, like this. So thank don't worry. So whenever when we test these, when when we take the example charts, na, then all things will be clear. Okay, but for now, see. Uh, don't get confused about these rules. Okay, malefic, benefit. These things will be clear to you. So don't worry about it. But just tell me the concept of karaka is clear or not. Right, right. Okay, if the concept is, is clear, just leave all yeah, just leave all other things. We will come step by step. For retrograde, okay. for nakshatra, for degree, we will discuss all parts. Okay, but for now, just in this class, just let me clear the karaka part. Okay, okay thank you, sir. So it should be uh, engraved in your mind. Okay, so whenever we say any event, the first thing comes in your mind is that see the any possible affliction on that car and that see the house. This is first two part. Okay. Rest of other things I will take. Sure. Sir. Yes. Yes, Pratyuta. You can hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. actually, that uh, last question uh, was hmm. Saturn. I uh, you said that the significator of the sixth house will promote disease, but it's hmm. also significator of jobs, and sixth house is also connected to jobs. So, can it have a positive effect also in that case? Yeah, sixth house is job employment. Okay, Karaka of six, uh, that uh, job is what Saturn itself, so it will promote that part. Okay, sir. Uh, sir okay, now, now see, now uh, there, there is another point. Okay, this wait for next 15 minutes, you will get answer for this question. Okay, sir. okay. Now, I think everybody is thinking if Saturn, let's say Saturn is in fixed house in this chart. Okay, now this Saturn will promote career or it will destroy the career. Whether Saturn will create health issue or it will not create health issue, all these questions are natural. Okay, so just wait for next 15 minutes on this UCP. Okay, now see this this con this concept is little bit complicated okay, because this concept is having multiple layers. You have to think in multiple layers only. Then only you will get hold on this whole concept. Otherwise, this will be confused throughout the life. Uh, sir, another okay. question. Uh, this yeah. multicon. Uh, I mean, functional malefic happens when Mojicon falls in 3611 or 6812? 3611. Okay. 3611. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, so once again, I am saying this concept of Karaka is important. Now, the third part, which is most crucial part. Okay. Sir, yeah. can I ask a question, sir? Yes, yes. Sir, sir, uh, matlab, uh, isme, sir, matlab, abhi, sir, jo, jo, jo child ki, sir, hum, sir, 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 Jupiter uh, fourth house mein, sir, matlab, fifth, sixth, twelfth mein, sir, to, sir, kya, 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 k
नहीं 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 अभी अभी वो कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं लेंगे अभी ठीक है वो कॉन्सेप्ट हमें तब लेना है जब आप फिफ्थ हाउस को लग्न बना के लेते हैं ठीक है जब आपको रिलेशनशिप चेक करना हो जब आपको उस बच्चे से रिलेटेड इवेंट को देखना हो ना तब वो फिफ्थ से ट्वेल्थ लेना है बट अभी देखना है कि लग्न वाले जिसका लग्न है उसका बच्चे होंगे कि नहीं तब तो आपको रोटेट नहीं करना उसे समझ रहे बात जब आपको ये देखना हो कि उस बच्चे की एजुकेशन क्या है देन मेक फिफ्थ हाउस एज एस ठीक है सर सर ओके ओके थैंक थैंक यू यू या सो नो This is what I'm going to show. Okay, so this is a shloka from BPHS, Mrit Parashara Hora Shastra. Okay, chapter name is Planetary Karak Tatwas. Okay, so this chapter is important if you want to know about Karak Tatwas and all. You can read about this. Now, in this whole chapter, this shloka number twenty-two to twenty-four is very important. Okay, so you can read about this shloka on screen, but I will also explain you. Like in this shloka, Parasha Rishi is saying, "O oh Brahmin, now I speak of the Karakas." as they are derivable from the significator planets and that significator house okay now understand this part this part is very important because this this one part will help you from now onward for the prediction okay in nine see Sun is the father. Sun is the Karakatwa father. We know, but in this shloka, Parashar is saying ninth from the sun denotes the father. Clear? Next line, fourth from the moon shows the mother, and third from the Mars shows the brother. Sixth from the Mercury shows maternal angle. Fifth. From Jupiter shows children or son. Seventh from Venus will show wife. Eighth from Saturn shows the death and Pithras. Okay, now there is a twist. Till now we have seen like we have to see houses from the lagna. For father we have to see ninth house from lagna, and Karaka planet is sun. These two point we have studied. Now this is the third point. Now, according to third this rule, you have to see the same house from Karaka planet also. Okay, same house from Karaka planet. It means in that example we are seeing the children. So we have seen fifth house from Lagna. We have seen the Karaka planet Jupiter. Now, as per this twenty-two to twenty-four number shloka, you you have to see also. Fifth house from Jupiter. Fifth house from Jupiter shows the sun. Okay, now from now onwards, every event you have to see in three angles. First angle is Karak planet. Second angle is you have to see that particular house, concerned house from Lagna. Okay, and third angle is you have to see concerned house from Karaka planet. Okay, now you have these three. Okay, 
Okay, now let's go back to that particular chart. Neeraj, can you share that chart again? Now, fifth house from Lagna is Capricorn sign, Venus is there. Okay, Jupiter is a Karaka for children. Now, as per this shloka, you have to see fifth house from Jupiter also. Fifth house from Jupiter means one, two, three, four, five. It means it will fall. On this house. Okay. So now you have to check benefit influence, malefic influence on these three factors. Okay, first factor on Jupiter because Jupiter is a car of children. Second factor, you have to see the influence, malefic or benefit on fifth house from Lagna. In third point, in third rule, we have to see the same malefic influence, benefic influence on the fifth house from Jupiter. Okay, so these three will help you to tell the outcome of this. So, can you please repeat it? Yes. Sir, uh, uh, hmm. do you do not consider the fifth house from the moon, sir? Not now. Not now, okay. Not now, okay. But you have to consider fifth house from moon when you predict transit events. Okay. The transit events. Okay. Please, uh, uh, we are teaching you Vimshottari, Yogini, and Bhrigu Chakra Parvati. Okay. So in all these three events, no need to include Sun, Surya Lagna, Chandra Lagna. Okay. You have to use Karaka Lagna. Okay, so I will give you reference of these shlokas and all. So for now, I think everybody has cleared for that shloka. So in that chapter, Prasha Rishi is saying, every event you have to see from Karaka planet also. Okay. Now, I will take three, four examples and, and I will invite three, four students. Okay. A three students in one group and now they have to tell me by looking into this chart by using these three principles okay malefic or benefic if any doubts in these three rules they can tell me i can repeat it again so please repeat if you don't mind and Okay, three rules for analysis. First, check Karaka planet. Okay, for any event, you have to check Karaka first. Yes, sir. Now, in second point, you have to check concerned house from Lagna. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Now, in third point, you have to check concerned house from Karta planet. Is it clear? Yes, sir. It's very clear now, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, this is the whole concept. Okay. And 
soon you will understand by this car this by using these three rules only you can differentiate the single event from the multiple significations from that house like fifth house shows multiple things fifth house shows children as uh, this intelligence part fifth house also shows speculation okay fifth house is a family of mother so there are multiple things now by using the three rules you can pinpoint the exact significations from the multiple things how i will show you yes net you can unmute yeah i just want to um expand on uh your rules there i i really appreciate you typing them I, that makes me understand a lot clearer here when you say check the when the check is checking for afflictions so i just want to add in my notes here the mm -hmm. word check means check for afflictions of karka planet check for mm -hmm. afflictions of concern uh concern planet from lagna is see, that what see, i'm not 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 only affliction affliction the malefic benefit both okay i, I wanted yeah. to expand on what checking what am i checking yeah, so, so checking, checking means suppose if you want to predict any negative event. Okay. So then so you have to see affliction, benefit. If you want to see any positive event, then see benefit increase. Okay. That depends, you know, like that's why I have mentioned only check. Okay, I have not written malefic or benefit. Malefic okay. and benefit depends upon the chart to chart. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That thing Thank I you. will I will show you an example. Okay. okay now what is the purpose of using these three rules? Okay, why we are making more complicated? Okay, still we are not uh, confident about our prediction part when we see from Lagna, and now we are seeing the same thing from Karakatani. Okay, what is the need of this complication? Now see, this is a beauty thing. Now you will realize why Jupiter Saturns are more important planet in horoscope. Okay, let's say any popular uh, any event, uh, for example, marriage. Okay, so in seventh house, we see partnership, marriage partner, seventh house. Karaka planet is Venus. Okay. So we have to see seventh house from Lagna. We have to see Venus. And then we have to see seventh house from Venus. This is clear? Yes, sir. So this will show you the quality of marriage, the quality of your partner. But it will not give you the marriage. It will not give you the event of marriage. Are you getting my point? So still, we are uh, we we need to do something else. Now you see the karak. Do you know the karaka of gain? Who is the uh, karaka of gain and which house shows gain? Eleventh house and guru. Okay. So any other any other inputs? Ketu. Rah, rah, rahu, sir. Yeah, see, see here. Ketu, sir. Income, gain, success. We have to see from 11th house. Karaka plant is Guru Jupiter. Okay. Now, now understand this. In order to see the gain of any event, Jupiter's role is very important. 11th house from Lagna, Jupiter, and 11th house from Jupiter. These all three parameters should be activated during Dasha with marriage part, like 7th house from Lagna, 7th house from Venus, and Venus. If these two things are combined in that particular dasha and the dasha, then only marriage takes place. Otherwise, no. 
sir can you repeat again what you just said yeah so i am saying now i am merging these two things okay just i will make it more clear these three points are clear okay now example marriage okay marriage house seventh house karaka venus this is clear now now we have to apply the rule we have to check venus second point we have to check seven house from lagna in third point we have to check seven house from venus this is clear now the third one see this these three rules will show you about the marriage like marriage is good or bad like this okay now gain of marriage gain of marriage means like the timing of event is what that gain when will marriage take place it means when i will gain marriage this is what i am asking okay so for that thing now the second part is gain is 11th house karaka is jupiter Yes, sir. 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 Y